Stan Lee, big, <laughs> big Manchester uh, United fan. And uh, Stan, good morning. It's great to have you on the show. Good morning. How are you doing? Oh. Well, it's not a very good morning, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. Um, first of all, before we talk about uh, what has gone wrong with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, uh, you know, since becoming permanent manager, what is this United DNA people keep talking about? Maybe you can tell us you've been supporting United for a long time. The United DNA is, all I have to say to that is the class of 92. Mm. When you think about youth, when you think about class players coming through the squad, coming through the, 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 the academy, mm. and we've got them in the academy right now. That is what you call the, 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 the DNA of Manchester United, developing youth and bringing them through. Interesting. Okay, interesting. I, I love that angle. Now, another angle that some people are actually looking at it is from the uh, Manchester United way that some people have actually described as a myth it's that a myth. it doesn't exist. In the sense that United just have a way of winning games, no matter what, no matter how bad they play, but somehow they get to win. Now, this current crop of players, we've seen some of them actually still coming through the youth ranks also. Paul Pogba was with United before he went to UV. Um, Lingard, of course, from the youth, Rashford and all that. We've got McTonomy right now. There's some other players that are there. How come these guys are not putting in the performance that they expected to put in in every game? I think the one thing we're still suffering from is from the Jose Mourinho days, whereby we've got players like Fred, players like Ashley Young. I think Fergie was great, where he used to be able to bring you through and get rid of the old players. And I think that is part of the challenge whereby we've got people like Lukaku. Mm. Lukaku can't even control the ball. For goodness sake, he's a Manchester United player. And I think that is the problem. We've got all these old fogies, um, smalling, young. <laughs> they, need, they need to leave. Mm. And then we need to bring in some young players that we have them there. We have them in the squad already. Mm. And I think next season, I admit this season is a washout. We'll leave it. But next season, watch out. Because I think Ole, and we still believe in Ole, is going to do, is going to bring them through. And then you will see the DNA. You will see the real <laughs> Manchester stand up. Yeah, Manchester United DNA. Uh, indeed. Uh, stand up. Uh, all right. Well, next, next season, I'll be counted. All right. Watch then. out. Fingers crossed. Now, um, Lee, uh, let's talk about uh, uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer now, since he's been made uh, permanent manager. It's been a bad, bad run of form. And when initially when it took over from Jose Mourinho, I went on a very good run of form. And everyone was talking about how Jose Mourinho was the main problem. He's gone now. Now Ole has set the players free. He's removed the shackles and they won a few games. But now they can't seem to buy a win. So what has changed? Again, I just think we still have players on the pitch that really are not United players. Mm. And I think for me, that is the bottom line. It's like Rashford said yesterday. We're not playing like United. You can't be playing City and just be walking around the pitch and not pulling up your socks. You need to leave that pitch either dead or carry you out on a stretcher. Not literally. <laughs> literally. <laughs> no, I'm serious. If you yeah. guys, I don't care whether Liverpool wins. Well, I do care if Liverpool wins the league. However, we do need to win that game yesterday. Mm. And some of the players there yesterday, they're not United players. All People right. Like Fred, Young, they need to be off the team. They need to be gone. And uh, interestingly, you, you've mentioned uh, players like Smalling as well, to so Phil Jones, uh, Ashley Young. Interestingly, all these players have gotten new deals since Solskjaer took over. Yeah, I think he's just done that to encourage them. <laughs> Next season, they will be gone. <laughs> I, I think that if they're, not gone, if they're not gone, they will be on the bench. Oh, Hello. We'll be next season. Okay. Look, the likes of Dallas, the likes of Chong, the likes of Mason Greenwood, those boys are going to be in there next season. Okay, what you're, what you're saying in essence is uh, United should try, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer should, I mean, build the big stick and try to remove players, some of those top players and all that. I'm afraid you didn't mention a player like Paul Pogba. Uh, that reminds oh. me, he's actually in team of the PFA team of the season. I'm surprised about that, but he's a t uh, PFA team of the season. Paul Pogba also, we saw him walking around the pitch. He didn't pull his weight also in the game. I agree. Uh, to be honest with you, I didn't think I would be saying this three months ago. 
But Pogba, I think, has got, in my opinion, it's probably got a bit too big. And I think people are scared of saying anything to him. It's like, I think Rashford said something yesterday about how they don't, they don't tell each other off. I remember the likes of Roy Keane. If you walk off that pitch and you've not played your best, Roy Keane would rip into you. But now nobody tells them off anymore. Mm. The likes of Pogba are one of those people you can't say anything to. Because if you say anything to him, he's going to get upset and he's going to go. Mm. I think he should get stopped and go. Mm. Interesting. Only... So, so in essence, you're saying uh, United right now, the lack of uh, leadership. Let's move on. Leadership. Let, let, let's let's go... All right. Let's move on now quickly. Uh, let's talk about your top four hopes. Interestingly, uh, despite uh, the fact that you've been on a bad run of form, you can still qualify for the Champions League. You take, on, you, take on, you take on Chelsea uh, on Sunday. What kind of reaction, what kind of performance are you expecting? To, it's amazing that nobody wants to win top four. <laughs> <laughs> nobody else. Um, I think we can do Chelsea. I think mm. they're, 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 all, they're on a bad form like we are. Right. But I think if we go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, we've got better players than them. Mm. They've only got our hazard, and that's it, really. Um, I think we can do them, and I think if we do Chelsea this weekend, mm. we will finish top four. Um, uh. As now, you can't rely on them. They're, they're unreliable. You uh. don't know what they can do. Mm. Um, but Chelsea, I do think we can beat them this weekend, and I think we will still do the top four. Mm. I believe that. Uh. Um, yeah, that's it, really. I think we will do it All this right. weekend. All right, then, Sam Lee, thank you very much uh, for taking time to talk to us on the show today. And we wish you, Manchester United, all the best as we try to qualify for the year for Champions League. Uh, Sam Lee, thank you. Excuse Have a great me. day. Thank you.